Well, my, my father's always had cattle. And we used to have tobacco. and um, This is something we kind of started together. It's kind of my idea, and he kind of helped start, and then I kind of took over. Um, we do about 65 or 70 acres of vegetables now, <clears throat> mostly cucumbers. Uh, we usually do about 30 acres of cucumbers a year, and three or four acres of tomatoes, and we do a lot of winter squash, butternut, spaghetti, and acorn squash. Just a little bit of everything, watermelons, cantaloupes. And so this year we um, decided to add an agritourism farm to part of our operation and um, so I guess my part in that is just the, the management of that and um, one thing we really wanted to do with that is um, I'm, I'm an educator and I wanted to make it educational and teach kids about where their food comes from and um, about how every part of their life is thank a farmer for because they it all comes back to the farm all their clothes and, and and so many parts of their life um, um, so during the week Monday through Friday I do field trips um, so we have scheduled groups come out and um, they uh, they play and um, learn about agriculture and go on hay rides and eat popcorn and I do a little lesson with them um, and then on the weekends, uh, we're open Saturdays and Sundays to the public. And uh, on the weekends, it's it's a little bit different atmosphere. Where during the week, it's more laid back. And um, on the weekend, it's you know kids running and playing and having fun with their families and picking pumpkins and going through the corn maze. And um, so on the weekends, people bring their families out. And during the week, it's all about teaching kids about agriculture. I think the biggest part is the, the networking and, um, you know, out here on the farm, you, you kind of think, and especially us around here, there's not many produce farmers around here, and um, when we get to go to the state meeting and, and see all the other young farmers, you kind of realize you're not in it alone and, and do a lot of networking, and we've met a lot of great people and um, had some really great experiences through um, the Young Farmer and Ranchers group. Well, after this was probably the hardest summer that I've ever had in my life. But it was doing the vegetables and trying to get everything put together. And, but it was like a sigh of relief once we got done, and here come the kids. So it was it's, it was worth it. I think it would be a good investment and help out our family and help teach children maybe where their food comes from. <laughs> it's been a blast. Um, it was a little crazy um, planning and, and getting everything set up and honestly I'm not still not quite sure how we pulled it off but uh, that first day when the kids come in and they started playing and having fun um, it made it all worth it.